Hi, this is Clover Ground in Westbury on Trim, bordering Henleeds. Just down this pathway here is number 118. So this is the house. At the end of the path here, we've got Baydox Wood and Henleys Lake. Ideal if you want to go for a walk, which is very important in these days of lockdown. Come on in. So this is a mid-terraced house built in about 1979 on a development uh, that was originally built by the local authority. A lot of the houses here are now privately owned. And one of the things I like about the style of the house is that all the principal rooms face the rear. And in this instance, that's quite important because the back of the house is south facing. So it does mean on a day which is less gray and miserable than this one, uh, it's a very light, airy house. So the kitchen was redone a few years ago. Sort of a kitchen diner, it's a through room. So you've got windows at the front and the back. Lots of storage, which is something I'll come on to actually because this place is very well equipped for storage. And there are two large cupboards in the hall. Uh, there's this huge one in there, and then there's another one just inside the front door as well. So plenty of places to hide things away. So let's head upstairs. There are two bedrooms, both genuine doubles. Uh, one's a square room, this is the one, which is, we are calling the main bedroom, the master, partly because it has a built-in wardrobe. And then the second bedroom, Slightly narrower, but a lot longer. So again, plenty of space for a double bed. You could put fitted wardrobes in here if you wanted. Plenty of room. And then there's a bathroom with a shower over the bath. and a separate room. And again, more storage off the landing by way of an airing cupboard. So as I mentioned, the back of the house is south facing. That means the garden is sunny. Not today, maybe, because it's rather grey and miserable. Next door, I've actually put off-street parking in, so whether there's a possibility of that here, I don't know. Uh, but you also have, just to the left, a storage shed, like a tool shed, uh, which is, again, always useful. <laughs> 